do rag wisdom here folks and this is uh, Y2K 17.10.19 I'm not surprised by the behavior of course of the creep the creep we have in our lives now this traitorous bastard that has to be impeached article 25 whatever would have to do in order to keep this from happening again we need a strong very very strong progressive base liberal base we need to make sure that our government makes sure that there are checks and balances I mean this creepy Republican Party is not making any checks on the wacko that's in power rich people mostly and I'm not gonna say all mostly are scum rich people mostly do not give a shit what happens to the people of the lower classes I know this for a fact because empirically if you look around the state of our world today it does not have to be that way because there's so much money out there I mean so much that if people were more charitable we'd have a better world these rich sons of bitches that have been sending the poor people out to fight their wars for centuries for at least a hundred thousand years and I should say for as long as we've been able to do war and when we became obsessed with money and such the rich have always screwed over the poor always and they will keep doing it as long as we allow them to in the creeps reaction his his reaction to service people being murdered in his watch I think about 20 so far I mean this creep is responsible for everybody that dies under his watch soldiers and civilians those people in uh, in, in Puerto Rico for example this is a wacko a sociopath psychopath who has to be article 25 or impeached and like any other rich piece of shit all he wants to do is live in comfort spend his money enjoy his own life and if there and if and if he needs a war in order to enrich himself he's gonna send the children of the lower classes out to fight them and when they come home they're treated like crap this is how it's always been with servicemen in this country these stinking politicians and everybody else honoring the soldiers honoring the soldiers but when they come back they're not treated so nicely they're neglected go ahead Look at all the histories when soldiers return, how they're treated. I don't think the outreach was enough. Absolutely was not enough. My father came back damaged beyond belief. But the man was so screwed up, I, I don't think he had any notion of how to get any help. He was busy raising us and, uh, and, and, and screwing up our lives with his post-traumatic stress and other physical infirmities. This guy was in mortal freaking combat. If they threw the birther bastard into the pit of hell that my father and other soldiers had to endure, Trump would have shit his pants or gotten killed on the first freaking day. But I'm just telling you, nobody should be surprised what this creep is doing. Nobody. How he's reacting to the death of these soldiers. What he disgustingly said to Miss Johnson and the mother. He didn't even know the man's name. He didn't know nothing. Well, he knew what he was doing when he was getting into it. But I guess. And that sums it up for me, 67 years old how my father was treated, how other soldiers were treated coming back, the neglect, the abuse, people who fight our wars, who have to come back here and get treated like shit. This creep that we have in office now, in the orifice, in the awful, in the shithead office, he sums up for me exactly, concretely, in words, 
how our military people have been treated for decades when they come back or if they're uh, they're killed oh sure the words are there presidents in the past have done what they have to do to make sure that service people who died were treated with respect but they were all rich they were all rich people who sent poor people off to die and this creep here that we have in here he is exactly how most rich people feel about the rest of us they want to send us into the maw the teeth the fang bloody teeth of war and if we survive they want to give us as little as possible and this whole Trump Putin GOP administration wants to destroy everybody's health care the environment our national parks they're letting the Puerto Ricans drown so here we are I am not surprised the rich have always the nasty rich have always had little respect for who we are as people who don't necessarily have the amount of money that they have it was luck all along bad or good but in the end the creep what he's doing what he has said what, what the disrespect that he shows the dead of our wars the dead people who die in, in military service in places that they're sent by rich sons of bitches and what this did, this piece of shit Trump did and what he said that's exactly how they feel and this is exactly why we live partly why we live in the world we live in today if people have a ton of money they are obligated to do the right thing stop with it I earn the money I don't have to do this. they're obligated to do the right thing for the betterment of this entire planet and they have to show respect to the people who fight their wars better yet these sons of bitches rich bastards should stop instigating war in the first place finally we have to get this piece of shit this disrespectful scumbag fascist fiend out of our lives Please stand up and protest. Please do civil disobedience. Please fight.